Hey everybody, Keith K here. Hope you're doing great. Uh, today we're going to do something a little different than the survival game tutorials that I no normally do on this channel. Uh, we're going to take a look at the Sandbox, uh, which is one of the various metaverse platforms you've surely heard about. Um, and unlike some of the other ones, the Sandbox has only been open uh, for short periods of time. So they had a, a season one of their alpha earlier. Uh, and right now in the month of March 2022, they've got uh, season two open. So I thought we would uh, set up an account and dive in. Uh, they they do build this as a play to earn platform, as you can see here. And they are giving away some of their uh, cryptocurrency that is part of the platform, but you won't automatically earn it. Um, you'll earn tickets to a raffle uh, that we can take a look at you know, once we get our account set up. And that's how you potentially will earn SAND, which is their, uh, their token uh, for the Sandbox platform. Uh, and to get started, you don't actually need to spend any money, uh, which is nice, it's open to everybody, but you do need to have a uh, cryptocurrency wallet. So uh, we'll go ahead and click on create account here off of their page. There's three ways to set these up. You can just use your email, uh, you can use your social, and that'll use these two different platforms, Bitsky or Venly, and we'll still create a cryptocurrency wallet for you. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set up a MetaMask wallet for this. And again, I don't have any cryptocurrency in this wallet. I'm gonna create a brand new wallet just like you would. Um, and I'll skip past the setup because they've got a really good link here over this question mark uh, that will walk you through how to set up the wallet whichever way you choose to. So just follow along here and uh, we'll come back once I've got my wallet set up. All right, and we are back. You can see that I have my new MetaMask wallet set up. I'm on the Ethereum mainnet and I don't have any Ethereum. Um, I'm not gonna go into all the different ways you can use MetaMask. There are great videos out there, but uh, if you would be interested in learning more, uh, drop a comment. I'll, I'll think about whether or not, you know, if there's enough interest, I might um, go into that in a little more depth, but today we're gonna focus on the game. Uh, so now that our wallet is set up, we can go ahead and create an account. All right, and you can see our MetaMask will pop up uh, asking us to connect to the sandbox. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and then connect, and you can see that uh, we're almost there. So it's gonna ask us now for uh, our email and a nickname. And we'll see if anybody has taken Keith K yet. So it's gonna ask again for another signature. All right, next up, uh, they're asking for a password. It does say you can do it later, but uh, we're gonna wanna play using the, the download, the desktop version of the game versus the browser. So we're gonna go ahead and set up a password now while we're at it. All right, and now we have an account set up. You can see it tells us how much um, sand we have, uh, in this case, none. Um, and you can go in here and set up your profile later. You can stake sand. I'm not gonna deal with that. Uh, we're really gonna focus on just playing the game. Uh, and here <clears throat> you'll see the alpha map. If you go alpha over here, um, you can see we don't have any tickets yet. Um, and this is the map of what's going to be available during the alpha season two, uh, as well as experiences that are unlocked. So you can see some of these are grayed out and have a release date in the future. Uh, again, it's uh, March 9th right now as I record this. So we have a number of things that are already available to us uh, here in this alpha experience and some that will come on throughout the month and we'll come back and, and visit those. I think today we'll just take a look at the two quests in the alpha lo lobby. Um, you also can create an avatar, um, which we can do, I believe, under our profile here. Oh, select your avatar. So we're just going to go with one of the pre-configs, I think, um, just to save time. But you can play around with this. It's not too fancy. It's nothing complicated about it. You can also randomize it here. Let's see if those changes save. All right. And uh, let's see, a couple other things to point out. It shows when the raffle is gonna start. Um, and 
you know, in order for you to earn any sand, you actually have to win the um, Alpha Season 2 pass. And you get, you get a chance to win the pass by earning tickets. So there's five levels uh, of tickets that you can earn. And you can see there's, you know, different amounts you earn by level. And um, you have to unlock these progressively. So we're going to start off with level one here. And we have to complete ten quests uh, and that'll allow us to win tickets. Um, if you stake sand, you can get some additional. Uh, there are a few other ways to get tickets. Um, so staking is one. You can buy one of these. Uh, they're all fairly expensive. I think the cheapest one here. So Snoop Dogg has a couple of NFTs you can buy that are that are pretty expensive. This is the cheapest one at a, at least at today's price is somewhere around uh, between five and six hundred dollars, right? So this stuff is not cheap. Um, so we're not we're not going to bother with any of that, uh, and we're just going to go ahead and and get right into it. So we'll download the alpha and then we'll come back and log in. Um, but we'll leave this up because it actually over here on the right hand side, it shows you which um, challenges you've unlocked. And uh, it's an easy way to jump around to them uh, also using the map here. So uh, you're just going to go ahead and click download alpha and you'll install that and then we'll be right back. All right. Once you've got the sandbox installed, you'll go ahead and launch it and you'll get this login screen. So you'll just use the email and password that we set up when we created our account. And this is going to take us right into the alpha lobby. So this is where uh, we'll start every time we log in. It'll take us to the alpha lo lobby, which is um, essentially a temporary space within the game that will uh, allow us to navigate to different parts of the experience. All right. And when we join the game, we get this little welcome here, essentially reminding us that uh, we don't have a Season 2 Alpha Pass, but we can play and try to win one like we just talked about. So we're just going to get into it. All right, and so here we are in the Alpha Lobby. Everybody kind of uh, teleports in onto this uh, bullseye here. And uh, <clears throat> we can take a look at our, uh, our avatar there. You can zoom in and out using their mouse wheel. Uh, you can't go all the way into your view uh, to go to a, a first-person view, but that's fine. Uh, there's some information here about the Alpha Season 2 and how to earn tickets uh, if you want. So you can, you know, learn some more about that as you go. There's a number of characters in here that you can talk to. And, uh, you know, they'll tell you additional uh, information about earning raffle tickets and why you want them. But, you know, essentially you need the raffle tickets to uh, have a chance of earning uh, the sand. And, you know, if you win the Alpha Season 2 pass. Uh, like I said, you can actually buy this. Um, you can bid on it, actually. But uh, they're pretty expensive. Um, so we won't, we won't deal with that right now. So you can see there's a number of different areas to go. The, they're called factions. There's the Oracle's faction. Uh, there's three factions in total. There is the Heroes faction over here and the Scientist faction. Uh, and each one of those has a portal of its own that will take you to uh, its area off of the uh, Alpha Lobby when it opens up. Um, you can see here over on the right hand side, we've gotten our first quest, which is collect Voxelite. Um, and you can see, you know, we have uh, in the upper right hand corner, we have a, a map followed by telling us which lobby we are in, as well as what level we're at. We're at level one. And we've completed zero of 10 quests. And the first one is to collect this voxelite, which are these little blue diamonds. And this is just a way of encouraging us to explore um, each of the areas that we're in. Now, <clears throat> we're also going to look for this yellow exclamation point. Because while we're completing the first uh, quest of collecting voxelite in each um, of the different areas or experiences, as they call them, we're going to want to find the metaverse guide here, uh, and he'll also give us a quest of it related to exploring and looking for different areas. So you can see he's saying, "Welcome to the Alpha Lobby. This is the perfect starting point for your journey. There are so many incredible places to visit here. Do you want me to show you?" around this land. So you can either hit E or click on it. 
and then it continues through the dialogue. There are four areas we need to find. The Oracle area, the Scientist area, the Heroes area, and the Path to the Stars. So I will check them out. Once you accept that quest, you'll see that we have two quests on the right. And there are those little, uh, here we go, green, sorry, yellow <laughs> um, bullseyes showing us where we can find uh, the different areas. So let's start off, we'll just head into Heroes Faction. And you can see there's lots of people running around in here. And here is our first uh, point of interest and you just have to approach it and it will credit you that one, one of four. Um, let's see, you'll see these little question marks around. These are essentially non-fungible tokens. So this is, that's this um, asset, this pillar that they created. You can actually view it uh, in the marketplace if you want. We're not really here to buy. Um, yeah, everything is so expensive uh, because of the price of ethernet. It's really, uh, I think, difficult for most people to be able to afford um, any of it. But now this is a good point here. I do encourage you to look around just like any good exploration game or survival game. There's going to be stuff hidden. This wasn't really hidden that bad, but it is worth looking around in every little nook and cranny. Um, you know, I don't think that there is exactly the number of vox, vox lights that you need. So I think there's quite a bit more actually, and you'll, you'll find plenty. Um, so if you miss one or two, I, you know, you're not going to end up not being able to complete the quest. Um, but you know, you can get a sense of the aesthetic here. You can see that this is a voxel based, uh, game. So it's based on, on little cubes or little, you know, little cubes, essentially, just like Minecraft. And, uh, you know, I think you get a sense of what's possible, um, aesthetic wise, at least. And I would say there's a lot more, I don't know, some, it almost feels like a cross between uh, a Lego experience and a Minecraft experience. Uh, remember to look up because voxels will be hidden. I see here's some up here, up above you as well. Um, and I think that this alpha season definitely exposes some of what the potential of this is, this platform. Uh, I do think that you know, depending on what the cost is to play, it may or may not be worth it in the long run. Hopefully they do keep this open to everyone um, and you're able to earn your way into some of these NFTs and it isn't going to require everybody to spend Ethereum um, just given how expensive that is. I know they're also working on, uh, like I said earlier, uh, the Polygon network. I've yet to see any NFTs that you could buy with Polygon, uh, however. So we'll just keep exploring here. Um, let's go across to the Oracle faction. So if you had a chance to play this, let me know what you think, what you think the potential is. I mean, I do think that there's a lot of potential here. You can definitely be creative. Uh, you, you know, you can see these designs are pretty cool. I think, you know, if they open up the tools to at least let you create things for yourself, um, you know, you may not be able to sell them on the marketplace, but if you could at least create some of some things, you know, like skins or design your own sword, things like that, I think could be pretty cool. But this is all about exploration right now in, in this experience, the Alpha Lobby, just encouraging you to explore and run around a bit. We'll just see if we have exhausted all the voxels. Oh, here's one. Yeah, see, there's a way to get up there. There's a bridge. So let's see if we can figure that out. Yeah, 
there's a vine you can climb these vines here we go yeah so th these characters will have little dialogues you can't really interact with too many of them but um, there's some little things that they can tell you all right well looks like we're done here let's get on this side the other thing to look out for, uh, just for fun, really, is there's little rubber duckies uh, hidden throughout. I don't think they give you anything, but... They're neat to find. Yeah, again, see, this tree is something that was designed by the Sandbox team, and you can actually view it in the marketplace if you wanted to buy it. Um, in order to do anything with it, you'd have to also own your own land, which, as I said, is pretty expensive. So um, that's that's tough for I think for most people. Uh, these little droids here will also uh, you can speak to them, and they'll tell you about the different areas. Um, they will also tell you a little bit about some of the keys, but it's just your typical uh, ADSW and space to jump, and you can. Hit the shift key to do a little combat roll there. Uh, or you can hold the shift key down to run. Well, shift and move while well, you're one of your movement keys. Okay, so there's our scientist area. We've got that. Let's just see. Where do we see voxel cubes? Alright, so it's something up there. See if this will let us go to any other spots. Here's one of those little rubber duckies. They're they're hidden around all of the experiences. Sometimes you'll have to jump to get on the ladder. Now let's see. Oh, I missed it. So it looks like that's the only way to get that voxel cube. So let's just try one more time. There we go. Don't think we've run over on this side yet. Let's head back out into the Alpha Lobby. So let's see, we've got the NFT collection. There's what looks like a big museum here left to go. Let's uh, head in here. And I'm not much uh, of an artist, so I don't know uh, if this is great art or not, they all look kind of cool to me. I like the way they're displayed. 
Um, you know, these are all for purchase, essentially. Pretty neat. I don't have any ether, so we won't be buying any of those. Here's our last point of interest. The IP portal area. IP being intellectual property, right? So these are all different brands that have set up shop in here. Presumably uh, brands or artists, right? Like here's Dead Mouse. Um, presumably there will be some experiences that they're setting up. Snoop Dogg for sure has uh, an experience that you, know, you can get an early access pass to. You can see the experience is not yet available. So uh, essentially this is where they're letting brands and artists set up. So we'll check back here um, once uh, maybe some of these are open. I don't think you can play any of these, so that would be kind of cool. So let's see, we need two more voxel cubes or voxelite, I should say. It's got more NFT art here, include, you know, paintings, if you will, and sculptures. Kind of cool. Let's see, we haven't gone upstairs yet. All right, and so that means we've completed uh, the two quests that are available in the alpha lobby experience. Um, but yeah, definitely check these out. There's some pretty cool stuff here when you get a chance. But that does it for the alpha lobby. And uh, I think that's gonna do it for this video as well. I'll, I'll do each experience, if you will, as its own sort of standalone video and put them in a playlist if you're interested. Uh, check back here. Um, if there's something you think I didn't address, you know, leave a comment or a question. And I'll try to get to it. So uh, if you got something out of this video, please definitely give it a like and let me know that you want to see more of these. I'll keep posting um, as these experiences come out. And uh, obviously I have to catch up a little bit, but I'll get these out and uh, hopefully it helps you and hopefully you enjoy it. Thanks as always, and I'll see you back here soon.